Japan's ruling Liberal Democratic Party has chosen a new leader who's now set to become Prime Minister. Shigeru Ishiba is seen as a military expert and served as Defence Minister in a previous government. In his pitch to LDP members, Ishiba called for a kinder, fairer society in Japan. Ishiba is due to become Prime Minister next week following the expected resignation of current leader Fumio Kishida, who's been dogged by corruption scandals. Well, let's go to Tokyo, where journalist Sonia Blaska has been following developments. Sonia, it seems like it was a close race uh, for the party leadership. What tipped the scales in favor of Ishiba? Yes, it was a very close race. Um, I was actually surprised uh, that in the first round, um, the female candidate Takaichi, she managed to get most of the votes, but in the second round, she was defeated. And apparently the difference was, or one of the differences was the so-called uh, kingmaker Kishida, the outgoing prime minister, who apparently in last minute kind of threw his support um, towards uh, Ishiba. And um, also, I think that their policies and even their characters made some difference. I felt that the speeches that both candidates gave after the first round were quite different. And that might have also swayed people. Um, Ishiba was quite open about uh, flaws, imperfections, but he said and, and said quite impassionately that he would do everything uh, to, to unite the country and to restore trust. What sort of topics or policies dominated those speeches you're talking about? What were the, what were the issues that uh, emerged during these debates about the leadership? I mean, generally, you can divide these uh, the main topics into two fields, uh, internal politics and, of course, um, uh, geopolitics, uh, diplomacy. And I think this time the, the internal uh, issues in Japan play quite a big role. The LDP was embroiled in scandal after scandal in the recent months um, over money issues, funds uh, not being used in a proper way. And I think um, Ishiba made it clear that he would do something against that. Uh, whereas um, his, uh, 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 sorry, <laughs> whereas uh, Takaichi-san, she was seen as maybe a bit too soft with regard to that. And I think also the, the geopolitical um, stance played a role. Um, she is a very conservative, ultra-conservative politician, and uh, some people thought it might be um, an issue, you know, if she goes to Yasukuni Shrine again, for example, that this might uh, draw very critical reactions from China, whereas um, Ishiba, a former defense minister, is seen as an expert in these things and seen as a bit more uh, leaning towards uh, discussion, cooperation. So I think it was really a, a vote of stability, so to speak. You mentioned uh, scandals, very scandals in the uh, lead, in the party. Is Ishiba is ex expected to give the party a fresh start? I think um, it works to his advantage this time that he's been an outsider for most of his career, kind of the thorn in the side of his own party or the opposition in his own party. He's been very open with criticism, um, even towards Kishida, who now supported him, uh, but also to other leading members of his party. And in his speech between the two rounds, he emphasized that he wants to make sure that rules are being followed. So I think also the public trusts him when it comes to that. He was the most popular um, in um, when, when people were asked on the street, you know, who would they like as the leader? And people seem to think that him being this sort of outsider, he might actually have a chance of making change in the party. Sonia, thank you very much for talking with us today. It was journalist Sonia Blaschka in Tokyo. Thank you.